guys, I am so happy to be here today to talk about Cleveland and my beloved Browns. <laughs> Let's get positive. <laughs> the game, the glory, the fans, the Cleveland Browns. Where you see obstacles and failures, I see opportunicals and success years. The team hasn't made the playoffs since 2002. There's a lot of things I haven't done since 2002, and I have no regrets, you know? Oh, boot cut jeans. The city has its own problems. Didn't the river catch fire once? Uh, no, caught fire 13 times. Some people might call that disaster, but I say, wait a minute, water catching fire? Huh. Well, that sounds like a miracle. Where did you find all this positivity? That is a great question, and thank you for asking that question. In 2002, I, uh, I discovered I weighed 400 pounds. My doctor said, hey, you can finish that sandwich and lose that foot, or wrap something in lettuce and live to be 50. I said, dare to dream. Cleveland! You know, there's some great self-help books I could recommend to you. There's uh, How to Turn Hurt in the Happy. I'm okay, you're the best. Why is mommy cry? Because daddy loves her too much. Oh, and my personal favorite, when God closes the door, he knocks down a wall so a forklift can carry you to the hospital. I gotta ask, what about LeBron James? Oh, uh, okay, I knew it. I knew he was gonna ask this one, LeBron James. He can live wherever he wants, you know? And besides, you know, Florida is America's pool filter. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about Art Meldell? He's the man who took the Browns out of Cleveland and moved them to Baltimore. I wish him the best. He's dead. You heard what I said. Have fun! Dare to dream! Keep a dream journal! When things get bad, remember, we have a guy on our team named Barkevius Mingo. Cleveland! Ah. Uh, awesome job, everybody! Uh. You guys get a chance to go out and see stuff? Hey, have you guys been in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Mm -hmm. It just uh, wasn't a lot to do when we were there. Mm. Okay, well, your breath smells like someone painted the back of your throat with a shit pistol. A shit pistol. Me and my brother's here. We're huge Eagles fans. Yeah, I mean, the whole family getting together, going to games, getting fist fights with everything. 